Just got this in. So this is the upgraded XT30 parallel charge board. And right off the bat, I have to tell you, do not buy this. This board is dangerous. So at a glance, this upgraded board actually looks really, really safe and attractive. We've got 30 amps fuses between each battery. That's really, really good. It also advertises a copper fuse to the balance lead, just in case a short happens there as well. So yeah, this board looks really, really nice. And in terms of features, wow, you've got a little uh, voltage meter up here. We've got 1S, 2S, 3S charging capabilities. I mean, this is a, would be, have been a great solution. So what's the problem with this board? Well, they've gone all out on safety, except one of the most obvious, basic things that they should have done with this. They cheaped out on one important part, and it's so basic that it's sad. It, it, it is so basic that it's sad. I'm gonna show you right now what the problem is with this. All right, so I'm gonna take this little Baby Hawk R battery. Now watch this. Look at that. Look at that. Did you see what I just did? I effortlessly plugged the battery in backwards. Now, how the hell did I do that, right? That shouldn't be possible. It's an, XT, it's an XT30 connector. By design, these are supposed to prevent you from being able to plug in the battery backwards like this. Look at how soft the plastic is. Look at how bendy the plastic is on these connectors. It is just, they're just too soft, period, end of story. Now, this is what happened to me. I was about to charge a single battery. I had it connected to my charger. I plugged it in, wasn't paying attention. That's my bad. And to the board's credit, the copper bit here did light up when I plugged the balance connector in. But, you know, thank gosh it was only one battery. I was actually just trying to charge the, the Bugs battery, which also uses XT30. But, you know, thank gosh that I, I didn't have more than one battery connected on here because oh, that would have been really, really bad. Now, let me show you here. They're not supposed to be that easy to plug in. Now, this is this is a, an XT, XT60 to XT30 connector. I'm going to show you. Look, if you, you could try really hard, I just can't I can't get them to mate no matter what I do I just can't get them to mate so yeah this is a good designed XT30 connector just how it's supposed to be you're not supposed to be able to flex it it's supposed to be decently hard plastic compared to this crap whatever they use to build this thing with now, like I said, I take responsibility for plugging the battery in backwards. I should have been paying more attention before I plugged it in and burned up the little fuse there. And thankfully, yes, it did have the safety feature to cut it off, but there's really no way to fix this. I mean, the board is, to me, is dangerous right out of the box because I don't care how careful you are, you, there's always a chance that you're going to make a mistake. And the entire point of the XT30 design is that it, it stops you from making that basic mistake of reverse polarity just by design. And if you don't have that, you're, you're missing out on a huge part of the safety. I mean, look, I, I can't, I can't force an XT60 into an XT60. It just, it's not gonna happen when the, when the connectors are well made. But this stupid board though, easy. Easy, easy, easy. Just effortless. Look at that. It's just freaking effortless. So basically, don't buy this board. I wish I had a board that I could recommend. If you want to parallel charge batteries uh, that are XT30 connectors, unfortunately, I'd have to recommend picking up the Joshua Bardwell uh, parallel charging board for 4S batteries. Uh, you, you can actually use these balance sockets to charge 3S batteries or 2S. It's not going to be a problem. And, and then get a whole bunch of these little connectors and then plug it in here. And that's the bet, really the, the best thing that you can do right now because until a decent company makes a reliable XT30 charging board that doesn't have this uh, very dangerous little issue here, 
then really I can't recommend it. My fault, should have paid more attention to what I was doing. Uh, I was just sort of connecting the batteries up in the moment. But at the same time though, to miss out on one of the key safety features of an X-T30 connector is just really, really sad. And I feel like it just just using this is going to put you in a, could put you in a position one day where you too will just make a mistake plugging it in because it is so effortless to plug it in. I mean, it just doesn't even feel like there's any, it doesn't feel like there's any protection at all. Look at this. That's it. Barely anything, barely anything. So that's it guys. Yeah, don't buy the upgraded XT30 parallel charge connector. I hope you guys enjoyed the review and as always, have a great day guys.